Boom. Boom. Oh, Lord. Tonight's show is sponsored by Cocoscope.com. Please <laughs> do not mention Cocoscope on this show. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought oh, about your blood flow? You always got to love. Just a few simple. You always got to love when these shows open up with some crazy shit. But boom. Boom. Oh, man. But I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a massive dump. Man, we like who, I guess we are. I'm guessing we are. Somebody's got the show playing in the background. I hope you guys ain't vipping on those old ass fucking billet boxes. People are starting to complain that you guys are using those things. It's making us look bad. I'm vaping on real vapes right here, baby. <laughs> Mike's got the hammer. God, holy shit. It is what it is. It's a massive dump. Well, I guess it's time to actually open this show up where they can see us. That might help a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, watch this. That's that's how you do a transition right there. And for all those people, I know you're pissed off. I've heard comments already. Everybody says, ST, why are you always looking over there and not looking at the camera? Well, I got all my shit set up the way I like it set up. Y'all have seen my face. You don't need to see me eye to eye, I don't think. So I'm going to look over here because I got the guys on the screen over here and I got my chat right here. So let me kind yeah. of enjoy how I got shit set up. Yeah, I, it looks awkward, too, because if you're sitting there and reading chat where the camera is, you're like this. Yeah. So <laughs> it I looks mean, like you're just like, duh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I, into the, yeah, so. Yeah. So we got this like Star Trek thing going on. But anyway, what is going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number, which one? 202. Yes, we are here. Oh, man, it's only Tuesday, and I feel like it's been the longest week of my life. And I hear the washing machine in the background talking. You know how them Samsungs will talk to you? Uh-huh. Mike knows because he's got one. But anyway, all good. With all oh, yeah. that. Huh? We got it. We got a Mexican in chat. Can we boot him? Well, he's got a wrench. I don't think you can boot him. So, Son of a bitch. Damn, you just called Batman a Mexican, SD? Yes. No. <laughs> you said he had a wrench. He's the only one with a wrench in chat. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I can't, you screwed up there. I can't deal with this shit anymore. Mark, take it away. Shit. Uh, the, what should we call it? Smoant? I don't know. Mike has it. Mike has it. What is it, Mike? Pasito. Pasito with uh, what should we call it? Uh, the Bathala, BTFC, the special edition <laughs> Vupu mod. Hey, you still got my RDA on there with that ugly drip tip? Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful. Look at look at that matchy matchy. <laughs> it looks horrible. He's sabotaging my shit, mother. I, know. I am. Uh, juices. We have. Mike's actually paying me at the moment to use that. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. There you go. Operate Thank you. Donut. Uh, we got the custard bomb. And then I got some of the 12 milligram paradigm inside the Pasito. Take it away, Mr. Mahiko Vapes. I can't believe you're copying me. Yep. I'm also <laughs> vaping the Pasito with some Nilakilla paradigm oh, inside shit. there. Oh, shit. Always copy. But I have the RTA build deck in here. Oh, that I don't have. There you go. So you can't copy me to the full. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Ain't happen. Oh, I'm also vaping on this mod here. This is a new Vaporesto mod. Love the texture of this mod. It's so nice. I feel it good. I think it's called the Gem or the Gen. Gen, I think. Not J E N. G E N. Anyway, we got the best RTA in the world on top of it, the Rebirth. Nothing. No, I'm just I'm waiting. <laughs> I was waiting for Mark to react to that one. I was replying in chat. That's okay. And I'm vaping some Tailored House Strawberry Crunch in there. Also vaping on the Hellhound Hammer of God with the Asgard. There it is. RDA. Inside here, I was vaping Strawberry Crunch, but now I'm actually, I have, I got this syringe and I have apple pie in there. So I've been squirting apple pie in it. So it's got a mixture of both in a way. So yeah. So I'm vaping on that. Put that down. What else, Mike? We're doing also the Boxster Classic with the Recurve Duel. 
inside here we are vaping on i don't remember i think it's uh i think it's strawberry macaroon no that's the apple pie my bad that's this stuff windowsill inside there uh what else got a couple of new pods vaping on this little tiny look at this little baby it's a little baby it's called the finesse uh vega this i guess is a new company by vandy vape it's a sub company where finesse that where thing, are they gonna, that gonna be small i'll take it away st i'm sorry <laughs> i'll just fuck with you it is it's fucking tiny uh they're gonna put all their mouth to lung stuff, I guess, and pods and stuff in this company. So just to give you an idea how small this is, I'll put the Orion next to it. What the fuck is that thing? Yeah. Dude, you was in the room last night. You seen it. No, I wasn't. No, he actually left, remember? Oh, that's yeah, right. He was only in there for like one minute and took yeah, off. That's right, lot. I forgot. So I'm vaping on that. I have uh, I think I have a side berry in here. Yep, a Cyberry Go stick. And I'm also vaping on a new new here. This one is called the Gem. G-E-M. This is a new pot system from Kangertech. Wow. Yeah. That looks yes. that looks just like this pod system. <laughs> no. Uh, I have it here. Look. That's a little tall. <laughs> oh, they're totally different. It looks like other, it looks like a vaporesso pod system, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But uh, I'm vaping uh, this stuff here, some Vapors Cafe uh, Poodle Skirt inside there. And I have to say, this is probably one of the most smoothest airflows, silent, smoothest, perfect pull I ever had in a pod system. Which is quite shocking. It's from Kangertech. That is shocking. Yes, Adrian Daniels, they're still around. They're still around. What else, Mike? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I can't forget. We got the Billet Box. <laughs> Shout out to Bill Hubbard, my man. Love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. He knows why I'm thanking him. So anyway, yes. Billet Box, and inside here I have some. I think I got that Apple Pioneer, too, right? Strawberry macaroon. My bad. That's what's in there. Dinner lady. And I am using the Nord coil in here. Nord coil. That's it. That's it. Mike, you're taking too long with these buffets. <laughs> Take it away, ST. All right. So tonight, of course, we'll go ahead and start off with the best. You see it. The billet box. Yes. There she is there. Also, I know Mike will get a kick out of this. He just, I know he loves this. And Mark copied me too off of this. Recurve Duel with the Recurve Mod with that pretty tip right ugly there. Drip. Mark copied me, though, by the way, with that. It does look kind of ugly with that drip tip. It actually does, but man, it vapes so good with it. But anyway, yeah. uh, a new do that, what is it, that OR, FR, whatever off, the hell. Off. off, hell. Their new Next Mesh sub on tank that came in, I don't know, I guess last night. Sitting on the detonator. Uh, another no no. That Steam Crave Light single coil RTA there. Look at that. The big and the small. Yes, I know they don't go together, but who gives a damn? I'm going to interrupt you too now. Phenom wants to know what's ST saying? <laughs> Speak up. Uh, anyway, and uh, last but not least, there she is, the Caliburn. Yes, I'm always using that one. Juices. Look at that right there. Look at that bottle. I love those bottles right there. I still got one or two of these. I don't think you can get your hands on them anymore. But that exclusive reserve from Camelot. Also, I got some other shit laying around here too, but I got things scattered again, so it is what it is, I guess. You guys got to excuse Phenom and Chad. He's a little violent because I guess... He can't afford the new Mac Pro, and he's a little pissed off about it. So actually, he said he ordered the top of the line one. Oh, he told me he couldn't afford it. So he's paying like thirty five thousand, forty thousand, something like that for a computer. Yep, he's not going to be used. Well, I also heard too he was wanting a billet box, and he for some reason was having some issues getting the funds for that. Yeah. 
So, <laughs> well, he owned Billabox. <laughs> I thought he did too, but obviously he doesn't. So, but no, nah, I just mess with Phenom. Phenom could buy anybody, any company. He can buy anything you want. So, you yeah, know, buy Mac Pro. Yep. I, I guarantee he's going to have one and it's going to piss Mark off so bad. He's going to sell all that camera equipment that he never uses, which he won't get the same amount of money. And he's going to throw it all away at a computer he's never going to use. You guys seen that? No. Or maybe I have. I maybe a have. section for the Orion? No. For some looked- reason, I want to say I have seen that. I'm, that. That's. Did they say when that came out? I don't think it's out. I don't think. I don't know if it's Lost Face putting it out or somebody else is putting it out. Well, what does it say on the post? Yeah, I mean, can you maybe read it for us? Uh, you guys are asking a lot. Um, nice pick of the Lost Vape Orion RBA deck by Otis Design. There you go, Otis Design. So that looks I'm, pretty sweet. Why don't you go ahead and contact Otis Design and see what's up? Otis Design, I know you're not watching us, but if you are... No, no, he's in chat right there. He just said what's up. No, he's oh. not. Oh, my God. Thanks for looking. And Twisted Ohms is the one, I guess, that took the photo? Probably oh, so. Phenom's dissing us. LOL, Billabox equals 2015. Thank he, you, Phenom. Thank you so much for saying that. He did that in a chat that we're in earlier, and I, I think that's just kind of his way of, like, I don't I know. Think, I think saying 2015 is being a little generous. I was thinking more like 2012. The problem is with Phenom is he has three Billaboxes. And they're still brand new in the box. You never used them. <laughs> exactly. So he don't have... And to my understanding, I'm going to go ahead and put some of his business out there. He's got all of these, and I don't think he can find any of them. So that's why he's a little ticked off at the moment. Did you so, see that the hoarding mess on his desk? How could yes, he find anything on there? I, I never knew how he could ever do. If he'd get his butler in there to clean some of that shit up, he'd be all right. But If he sell, sold all that shit he doesn't use, he could afford a new Mac Pro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. He, he ought to just buy the uh, the penthouse next to him and just start, you know, putting supply off in there. He'd be better off, but I don't know. Anyway, so what's good happening out there? Uh, look at him. I use them once or so. Like, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, Katie Tucker. That's when you know you're a big boy status when you talk uh, smack like that. So, uh that is correct, Brandon. Mark is just jealous about that. Yep. We tried to get Mark hooked up on it, and he was about to do it. I can't believe he's scared to mess with that. Uh, first of all, I'm not wasting my money. Second of all, these billet boxes these guys are buying, they're going to be on the shelf. Hold on, week. hold on. Well, what's it different? any different than the camera stuff that you do? You At least spend- the camera stuff looks good on the shelf. Really, and that I camera see, looks pretty sharp. Up I there. see, I see through. one awkward looking camera up on the shelf that looks like it's about to tump over. Show them the camera Voop Voop bought for you. <laughs> I can just like take pictures holding a camera, and I look professional. Like, yeah, see that? Yeah. Don't I look good? Yeah, real good, real <laughs> good. <laughs> You're fucking sexy as fuck. Oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I see signature tips out there. What's up, Shake? How you doing, brother? Uh, now Shake is one that I'm a little upset with at the moment because he specifically told me this past weekend he was going to have all his tips and buttons out there for sale. I checked the site out yesterday and I don't see anything on there. So what's up with that? You talking about these? I'm talking yeah, about the ones that you got that I don't have. So, uh, what's up with that Shake? So I just, I'm just messing with him. He does have a bunch of cool stuff coming out for the billet boxes, so y'all definitely need to keep your eyes open on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not just tips and buttons. You got the bridges and everything coming, so a lot of good stuff there. I think that's going to be about the point that Mark orders one when he sees all this cool stuff coming in. And dude, lower wattage. Because that's what you were alluding to the other night since you're blaming all your health issues on uh, yeah, this. Yeah, but I got to go out and buy bridges and coil heads for other tanks. Get it. That's not for him, trust me. There's too many small parts involved. Yeah, yeah there's too much, much mumbo-jumbo to deal with. 
Yeah, he can't even build the rebuildable section on like a ten dollar pod system over there. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to handle that other. So, uh, Stephen Garlington, I only have these right here, uh, and they're not for sale. Yeah, yeah, they're not for sale. Yeah, and I, I don't think he made them. He made uh, yeah, but as soon as they're available, I will have them. Yeah, I, I already hit Mike up, and Mike first thing he said, not for sale. So you know if he's telling me. Yeah, but I'm hooking you up with the blue one. I know, I know. Uh, Batman said Mark looks like the Kool Aid Man. What is it? The Kool Aid Man with that red T-shirt. Yes, he does. Yes, Batman's he does. all talk when he's fucking on a ship in the middle of an ocean. No, he's back home, I believe. Oh, is he? Well, he's still all talk being at home. Oh uh, yeah. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna say that to me here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I got you, Shay. I got you, brother. Dude, I, I mean, have we got to do this again? Have we literally got to do this again? What's that? Mark over here talking smack. He's over here being the hypocrite. He's talking smack, knowing that Batman can't get to him right now. So, I don't know. That's a, we're going to bump heads soon, I'm pretty yeah, sure. I'm, I'm certain. Yep. Ah, I see Amateur Vapor has joined us. Question... Uh-huh. I like the hit salts give. However, I can't deal with the way it affects me. What do you suggest um, as low as it goes? Uh, you just need to go with a high nick and get away from the nick salt. And you can get, you can run like a 12, and that, that would be probably very sufficient for you. Or you can even step it down a little bit more than that. Especially if you're running it in a pod system. I'm running 12. Matter of fact, I'm running 12 in this right here. This slide tank, which is a mount along, and it's perfect in here. So, yep. Um, there are a few other options. You can do like the stem nicotine, like Mike's got. He runs in most all his pod systems, but that's a what, 19 and a half? Well, yeah, stem nicks, and I also run the, the paradigm liquids. Yeah my stuff so you got there's a lot of options out there that you don't have to fool with the nick salts if you don't want to but uh someone also asked something about what is my thoughts on uh nick salts uh i never really got into them i just i like regular nicotine yeah i felt i was vaping more because i wasn't getting a throat hit and i was just over nicking myself so I enjoy them, but I realized I got to a point I was using them way too much, and I noticed myself coughing more. So yep. I backed off of them somewhat, uh, just went to a straight nick, did that for a while. And now I've been kind of back on the salts just a little bit, but I've been kind of like bumping myself back and forth and not just strictly staying on one. So, but uh, it doesn't. You, aff- mean, you mean vaping was making you cough? Yes, it was. Wow. I have no problem admitting that, but when <laughs> when I come out publicly and say that I'm coughing up sweet mucus, that's <laughs> when things start sounding a little weird there. So uh, we'll go with the sweet mucus. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> we we talked that one out the other night, so uh but oh what's going on, Battery Mooch, I see out there. Uh Batman, I hope you get to film better. I think he said he was feeling a little uh under the weather. I'm certain, though, even if you were feeling under the weather, you would still take care of Mark when need to be. Uh, see Moxley out there. What's going on? But, uh, so I don't know if Mike has started messing with his or not yet, but again, I did last night. So we get these. Mark, did you get them? Are you getting these next mesh tanks? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. From that whatever C B T G W F whatever the hell it's called company. No, it's called off. The people that make the mesh for the profile and. Oh yeah, no, I I've never talked to them okay. before. All right, so they've got a new sub ohm tank out. Uh, I know me and Mike at least have got it. Uh, was a little disappointed last night, so I pulled one of the tanks out filled it all the way up with juice and just letting it sit there saturate and do its thing looked over at the tank about five minutes later and realized the tank was empty and it was all over my device 
So needless to say, I was pretty pissed off. Uh, no, I'm not a noob. Everything was where it was supposed to be, but for some reason, it was the, error. The, <laughs> the stainless steel mesh coil apparently leaked on me. So I put in one of the Canthal ones, tried it all over again, and everything held. And I've been vaping on it today, and of course I'm not going to sit here and do a full review like Mark would. Sounds like a full but, review. Yep. But you might be a little shocked on this one, and I'm going to leave it at that. So, I mean, we got to have some suspense out of it. But uh, I want to stay on topic, but Mike, the other coil that comes with this is a nickel coil. Oh, wait, is the right one? Yeah. A nickel coil? Yeah, it says an eye on it. An I-80. Uh, did you read the... Here are we you go. Laughing? I don't know why he's laughing. There's no telling. <laughs> I thought it was nickel. Holy shit. Nickel. Let's just say it here what it is. <laughs> you, got a, you, got a, you got a mesh coil, which is yeah, I guess, 20, I guess, 25 watts, and then the mouth of the lung coil is a 1.4 ohm nichrome coil. I guess nichrome makes more N-I-C-R. sense. NICR. NICR is nichrome. Well, the, the coil head says NI, not NICR. Yeah. But the instructions right here. Well, I don't, I don't read all the stats. Uh, remember, that goes in the trash as soon as it gets it. So <laughs> yeah, I don't that, read instructions. Yeah, he, the coil head itself says in tiny little letters in I. I'm like, yeah, it's nichrome. It's not nickel. They might want to add a CR to that in I. For people like myself that get kind of confused. Uh, well, here's something new. I, I'm guessing it might be new. I'm not completely down with the mesh game. It's not my thing, really. Completely. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mark. But I'm guessing because these were in me and Mike's box. Is this going to be, is this a, something new? A point yes. one five in yep, mesh? Yep, that's the new stainless steel mesh. Okay. The well, they, they, I guess they're giving the reviewers these to try out. So I guess I'll have to try that out sooner or later. So. Yep, Ricky Mahoney, I totally agree. <laughs> so you guys in chat, you're telling me that if you got a coil head in a package... <laughs> And it said N-I on the coil head. You wouldn't think nickel. You would think nichrome. Hold on. You are fucking lying. No, 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 no. Let's get this straight real quick. N-I says... When is the last freaking time something's been made with nickel that's come like out? years ago. That's what I was so freaked out about. Exactly. But if you're freaked out, if you're freaked out about it, wouldn't you at least look to see inside no. the box to see if confirm it? Nope. I would just bitch about it in the video. Good lord oh. almighty. Or I would ask you. No, but if anyone got a coil head and this said N-I, no, you're right. it would, people would assume you're, nickel. You're right. I think nickel was N-I, right? Mm-hmm. Sure was. Was it? If I'm trying to remember, because it's been a while since or I've seen it. Either N-I or N-I-200, it would say. Yeah, I think it said N-I-200, it would say. But, uh, yeah, I, I checked when I opened up the box to see what the stats are for the coils, and I saw it was uh, N-I-C-R, which is nickel. Oh. All right, well, let's break it down real quick, Mark, because I'm seeing the comments here. Mark, <laughs> just because you're a reviewer, you're around this shit every day, and you've been doing it for years, there's still things where it would help if you at least save your instruction or your little user manual around just to take a quick look, opposed to chunking all that shit. No, that the box itself. Well, he probably threw the box away. Well, he throws everything away, and then he sits there and has all... You know what? You're doing this almost every single time now. Shit's coming to you because we sit in these rooms, and you're like, well, what's going on with this? And clearly it was stated on the box. I'm trying to give the experience of a user that would buy the product and just throw everything in the garbage and just grab the mod and start using it. It's time to read the man manual. So that's the kind of experience I'm trying to give. Well, you're you're definitely giving that experience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Uh no, I can't kick the cat. I can't afford the vet bill to get it fixed after I <laughs> kick it, so uh yes. Let let's give some word of word of wisdom here. When y'all purchase product, regardless if you think you're an expert or not and you know it. <laughs> Look at look at the user manual. Just just to kind of like thrill yourself or something. But the last time I looked at a user manual from a product that came from China, it was pretty useless. 
I, I, and I will say this, 95% of the time, user manuals are pretty useless, except for new people. And there's probably more newer people buying this shit than what we're getting. So, I mean, yeah, it needs to be in the box. But even the people that are experts like you, look what just happened to you. You see what Mark, I know what Mark does exactly. He throws away everything because he's like, I'll just go on their website and the, all the stats are on the website. Exactly. Yep, that's what he does. Exactly. That's exactly what I do. I know. Uh, and then it'll be screwed when they decide not to put some information on there and it'd be like, all right, well, I'm just going to wing this and make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Maybe I jumped the gun on the NI, but I'm so used to coil heads saying NI for nickel. I'm surprised he, you could actually see that it said NI on that. Oh, is I had true. to grab my magnifying glass on this yeah, little thing. True. It is tiny. I would think now, though, I would almost guarantee anything that hits the doorstep now that says NI is going to be nichrome. There's nickel is a thing of the past now. So I don't. Re I don't remember them ever labeling nichrome coil heads it would just be the resistance no they do label it but sometimes it says nicr sometimes it'll say ni but nickel was always now if i remember correctly always said ni 200. like the only the only coil heads i remember seeing that were labeled were be titanium nickel and like canthal like ka sometimes they don't even label stainless steel they just put the resistance on there I've yeah. never but seen a micro coil head. That's the thing. It's so many companies do it differently. Some companies put all the stats on it. Some don't. Yeah. It's nice to have all the stats to at least know what materials, metals they're using inside the coil. Well, lesson learned tonight, Mark. <laughs> Keep your damn... Do this. When you open shit, just kind of jot through the manual real quick and then chunk everything. There you go. That's not a bad idea. There you go. There you go. So we fixed the problem. He won't do it at all, but it, it sounds good on a live feed, and we'll yeah, keep does. moving on, and we'll be doing the <laughs> same shit from the to the end of time. But uh, yeah, so that stuff came in. Uh, this came in. Uh, well, it came in actually, I think last week, but I finally put a build in it uh, a couple of days ago. Man, the build deck on this thing is tiny. I mean, talking about drip tip tiny. And for a 23 millimeter single coil RTA, I can't believe how small the little build deck is to it. It seems like you're building for the billet box almost, but uh, it's not that bad of a vape. It's not something that you're throwing a lot of wattage to, obviously, but it's not bad. I think it's a little overkill in what they did on it, but... Uh, Still not that bad. I don't know what what price they're putting on these things. I would hope it's not following suit with some of the other stuff that they have. I'd hope they keep the price down on this one some, but I guess I'd have to one review time comes I'll have to do I'll have to go to the site like Mark and read all the information so I can spit it off on camera, but is it another full review you just did there? Yeah, so that way I've got two knocked out. Let's see what other product can I throw up here real quick and just be done with. I need to retitle this show real quick, but uh live reviews. Yes, live reviews. But uh Mike, I got a question for you. I mean you hadn't discussed this yet. I know there's probably a ton out there. I mean, it, it seems like they're kind of all over the place. But are you going to review your billet box? Uh, if I run out of shit, right now I'm pretty stocked up. Okay. I got to thinking about that. I mean, I know it's something we've purchased and was like that. But, you know, I'm certain there's probably people who would like your take on one, you yeah. know. Maybe we're like when I have all the build decks, everything, all the pieces, everything, yeah. maybe I'll do a video showing it all. I think that would be a cool Explain. video just doing all the bridges and decks and putting builds on them and, you know, saying some stuff. But so far, this thing's pretty good. Now. But wait. I know people ask if I'm sold on it yet. No. Would I recommend this as, a, as, a, I'm, as it is right now? No. 
I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't recommend this as your daily banger, right? The way I what if, with the parts I have right now. Okay, I got with you. the Kanger part. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, right. And the Nord Bridge too. The yeah. Nord Bridge, I get, I get a lot of airflow with it, but the uh, vape is cool for me. Yeah, yeah. Running stock coils in it. I mean, it's just kind of like you're vaping everything else, pretty much. Except at a lower wattage. But, now, what I'm looking forward to is like the Atlantis yeah, we, bridge. So I could use those mesh Atlantis style coils from E-Leaf. Exactly. I'm looking forward to using that. And also, obviously, the RTAs, the RBAs, or whatever you want to call them, yes. the Bilbex, all those. Now, that is that is what I'm interested in. Again, I know that it's not that you're pushing a lot of wattage to it, but... I know the vape experience itself is going to change up with the RBAs in them, so that's what I'm curious. Oh, I had one coming, and unfortunately, it's gotten lost in the mail. That sucks. Sucks ass, but I'll get that squared up. Oh, he didn't ship it yet? No, no, no. It got lost. How the hell did it get lost? We're talking eight days. If it ain't here by now, it's, it's lost. <laughs> So, damn, but, buy it from? Well, it wasn't a, it was a, a gifted one coming to me. Oh. Uh, so, but I mean, it's it shit happens. It's it's the post, post office. So, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I guess as stuff coming in, still kind of a little slow. I know as Modus hit me up, I got all their shit coming here within the next few days. Uh, <laughs> something else. I know being well, I, everybody on this panel has been hit up, but I don't think Mike has done a response yet. But me and Mark have actually responded. There we go. So I don't. Cool. I don't care. Oh, the blue. Yes. Yes, they actually messaged me. Yes. So they messaged me. Did I see the email this morning? Yeah, they sent one to me this morning too. So, like, hi, we'd like to give you a fifty dollar gift card to Amazon. to Amazon. I told that to Mark. I said I have never in my life heard somebody gonna give a Amazon gift card for doing a review. Yep, <laughs> like a fifty dollar gift card. I felt like writing back. Add two more zeros to that. <laughs> Yeah, put a little little cash on top of that. Well, yeah, they're big tobacco, right? Yep. Yeah. Hell, yeah, they, they got money. Don't insult me with a gift card. What's wrong? You want with me you? to do a video for your ship? Throw a couple more zeros on that gift card. All right. So, with that being said, and us having a you know quite a few people here in chat, what are people's thoughts about that? Would you actually want to see a review on a pod system that's basically owned by a tobacco company? Like the reason I agreed to it was because I mean it's a pr pretty popular pod system. It's in all the gas stations, all the stores. So imagine all the viewers you would get that probably are not even. Yeah, it it probably would get a lot of views. Yeah, I think I don't know if I would re do a video on it. Not to tell you the truth, but uh, I think if I want to capitalize, obviously on getting a lot of views, then yeah. Yeah. And plus, personally, I've never tried one of those before in my life. Well, you, but you know what? It, it kind of hits home with me because that is the very first one I ever tried years and years ago when Blue E Sig first came out. That was the first one I ever tried. Look at everybody. Let's see a lot of. Everybody's like, no to big tobacco, no to. Yeah. Big tobacco. Oh, God. You guys are. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I, it's like I'm holding back on it. I've gotten messages from a lot of these big tobacco companies to do videos on that shit and I just like stay away yeah. from it. Dude, if Big Tobacco got into the game like heavy, they could like probably save vaping. Yeah. I'm so shocked that people are so against Big Tobacco like that. Yeah. They have the money to save us. Yeah. Why don't they jump on board and you know, imagine like Philip Morris came out with a box mod. How awesome would that thing be probably? It'd probably be pretty sweet. Now, I can remember the first ones that I got, and again, now, I tried them, and this was back in what, oh, man, 2000, 
what was it, like 2008 or 2009? I think that's when Blue first came out. Somebody correct me just in case if you know the date, but it's when it came in the big kit, so it looked like it came in the, it had that rechargeable cigarette looking pack thing, and you could put a couple of batteries and a few of the uh, little Cardo things in it and all that shit. uh, Joy 510, maybe? Well, no, this was Blue. It was their brand. And uh, so I remembered when I ordered it online, of course, first thing, I purchased it. It took almost three months to get here because they were like on a pre-order thing. And I was like, holy crap. So when it finally got here, I was all excited and tried it. And, you know, of course, the flavors they had on it were like wild cherry and menthol, tobacco, you know, and some other flavor. All of them tasted horrible. But I tried using it, and I did cut down on my cigarettes. I was still, like, I guess you could say dual using there. But then I remembered I got I got sick real bad. It wasn't off that, but I just had gotten sick. And when I felt better, I wanted a cigarette. Never picked the damn thing up again until I actually started, I would say, really vaping. And that's when I finally quit smoking. But... <clears throat> So, I'm actually, not to say that they've done something remarkable over the years. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a pre-filled pod system. It probably is just like a lot of these other ones. I don't think there's anything special about it at all. So, I think it's a pre-filled pod system that's available everywhere, and it gives people more of a chance to start vaping. Like, they pick up the blue... They vape it and like, oh, I wonder if there's more out there. And then they start to get into more devices, more mods, and then before you know it, you got more vapors. Yeah. Why be against it? Like, I mean, again, I understand people's look on it. I, that's kind of a two-way street because you got I mean, you you got big tobacco backing it up, and I mean, I understand that's where that's where people are pissed about it. We all know what's going on right now. But then you got to kind of look at it on this note that it's actually a vaping product. It's not a tobacco product. Can I can I jump in? Yes, sir. Even though I wouldn't review it, or maybe I will. I won't say I wouldn't review that product. Like I said, if they give me five grand. <laughs> Here we go. Um, no, nah, I'm just joking about the five grand part. But anyway, <laughs> am I? <laughs> but anyway, um, the positive thing about reviewing a product like that is what I said before. Number one is the views. And reason being for the views is the noob, the person that goes to that gas station and buys one of these and wants to get more information on it and they Google it, they might see a video on YouTube for it. And they'll be like, oh, they do vape products. A lot of people don't even know vape reviews exist on YouTube. They don't know. People don't know. So the positive part about reviewing a product like that is that even maybe at least if one out of the five people that buy that product at a gas station, if they Google it, there's that possibility to where they see on YouTube, oh, there's other stuff out there. I didn't know that. Yep. They start watching videos and then they might go into buying other stuff that's not big tobacco related. So I True. think that's where the positive part of doing a review like that is. I think everybody's going to have their take on it, and it's probably going to be one of those deals, and I guess just for the three of us here, I'll try to speak. If we, for some reason, do review it, it's going to be one of those reviews. You see it pop up. Hey, if it's something that interests you, watch it. If not, don't watch it. I mean, that's about the best I could put it there. Yep. Because, again, at the end of the day, and I will say this much, I really don't care who owns it. If it is a vaping product, it's not a cigarette. Yep. So you gotta you gotta look at it like that. You can't be totally like, oh well no, well these these people are funding it. You just it might not sound right and and, you know, folks could be pissed off about what I'm saying right now, but you you gotta you cannot deny the fact that it is a vaping product. That's exactly what it is. So You imagine now if, if, like, all of a sudden, like, two weeks from now, I review that. 
I already see the comments. Oh, Mike got five grand for this video. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> uh, but I know they're contacting a lot of reviewers right now. I have heard through others that, you know, they're, I guess they're trying to reach out. So apparently they're about to do some release on this. I'm guessing it's maybe something newer that they've done for being such a drive right now for reaching out to people. So, uh, they have a, I think they have a new blue device. That's that, okay. Well, that's probably what it is. I know they're offering because I was looking at my email. There's like, I think six or seven different flavors and at least three of them. I think three of them are all like a tobacco based, which yeah. I wouldn't even mess with. I'll tell you something too. A review for that product wouldn't even help the company. If anything, it would help the vape industry to get, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't think our viewers are going to be like, Ooh, I'm going to go get that blue pod system. Yeah. For a gas station. Exactly. Uh, I and if I remember correctly, a few years ago, every big reviewer reviewed a pod system that was developed by a tobacco company. Not me. Well, no, I don't think, I don't think you were around back then. Were you still, or we were, were we, I don't think we were smaller back then. All the bigger guys did though, did do it. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I never even did a video for the Jewel. No, uh, did I? Yeah, I think I. I don't remember if I did it. I'm oh. glad that I never did one for the Jewel, just for the simple fact that uh, YouTube seemed to take a disliking to Jewel <laughs> YouTube videos. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is funny. what it is, folks. But you know, I know we've talked about you know YouTube. Damn. YouTube okay. is demonetizing everybody, so I guess it really doesn't matter what you put out now. So you read you read Marvin Norton's comment. What did Marvin say? Uh, the door screwed over some of you. Here you go. Thank, thank you, Marvin. You. <laughs> uh, damn. I would have thought we'd cover this a million times by now, but maybe not. I think Marvin wants an uh, explanation from you, Mark. <laughs> You got one for me on the Fuck You. Well, oh, the okay. first reviewer that, is, that she screwed over was Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I know Brian doesn't like us talking about it because he just doesn't yeah. want to stay away. And that's that, yeah, but hey, she screwed over Brian. Yeah. Uh, a salty fucking vapor at Mike Vegas Vapor. Hey, come on, guys, you all should do the blue review. I, I, nobody's saying that we're not. We just we were just kind of talking about it. Uh, you never know what's going to happen with it. Yep. I, prob I probably won't. Mm. But like I said. You never know. You never know. Add them two zeros. I'll be right there for you. Yeah. So It's like a jewel. Like, I have nothing against jewel. Like, they create many vapors every day. Like, I'm not – I have nothing against jewel. If they said they emailed me to review a product, I'd be happy to review it for them. Would you do <laughs> – no, no. I'm not going to – would I do it for you. free? No, hell no. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't want to get some controversy started on this deal, or we'll have all kind of shit going on. <laughs> Just because I don't get into the politics of all the all the shit with the companies and this and that, so maybe if I got into the politics a lot more, I would understand some of it, but I don't get in, involved in any of that. Yeah. Well, I mean... You know what? Here's a good here's a good question because this is something I don't go looking for, and I'm certain there's probably some out there. But have you ever been hit up by a uh, what is it? Uh, Fuse is that the name of the other one that's made by the tobacco company? Yeah, mm -hmm. Fuse with a V. Yeah, some yeah. Has any have y'all been hit up by them? Oh review? yeah, I've been hit up by all of them. What about you, Mark? I'm not. Sure. I know there was one company I was hit up by, and we actually had a phone interview. And I had to take screenshots of all my, like, analytics of, like, the age range that follows me. Like, I had to do a lot of shit. No, 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 no. That was, uh, me and you, that was the same one that me and you had. Was that Android? Was yes. Android. Well, Android wanted to make sure. Android's not big tobacco. But uh, what they wanted to do was make sure that uh, your channel didn't cater to children. But... Oh Enjoy also wanted you to script what you were gonna say. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And that wasn't happening. So, uh, but anyway, so the views or whatever it is, uh, 
I haven't seen anybody in at least our realm of people that's been hit up to, uh, well, look at that. Kip Dripper just says the views auto saved my life. There you go. See? Yeah, that's the thing. That's like I said before, these products are going to help people. And obviously, who knows? Maybe Kip Rippers bought that views, did a Google search and found YouTube vape reviews and stuff. And now he's graduated into other stuff exactly. and enjoying buying all this vape products and having a great time vaping yeah. from YouTube reviews. So it's not a bad thing to review that. Like I said, it won't help the company, in my opinion, but it's going to help those people that actually buy it from a gas station when they search it'll come up as if there's a video for the that product and they might click and see what other videos this person has done they're going to be like oh snap that's happened to me i was vaping though i bought some stuff from the gas station when i had quit and i didn't know about youtube i googled what i bought and i found indoor smokers face with this beady eyes i was like who's this crazy motherfucker (laughs) and i'm like let me click and see what he says about this what i what i have been vaping on I watched the video and then I said, let me check out his other videos. And I was like, oh my God, all this stuff exists. Yeah. So, yeah. But that, that is one of them that I guess that I, you know, again, our group, I mean, we're, we got a pretty close group. So we talk all the time about stuff and, but I mean, we do know a lot of people in the YouTube world of at least vaping and reviews and I can't see where any of those guys have done videos on that particular product either so I don't know I guess you know maybe maybe that's something to come here in the future of course it being just one product and them not having like a whole line of shit you know maybe that's why you know I don't know uh, but I, you know, that was a cool comment right there. I mean, if he was being straight up about what he just said, that is a product right there that, you know, that he, that's something that he got well, helped he, with. He actually commented back and says, you hit it on the nail. That's exactly how I found YouTube. He yeah. says, from he bought yeah. a views, was vaping it, when I did a search for it on Google, YouTube videos popped up for it and. He became part of the community. So. There it is. There it is. So. Mark, did you get this mod? Do you get Vaporesso stuff? I don't. Yeah, I don't think I got that yet. Yeah, this is the. I, I love the way this feels, these panels. Actually, uh, what, I'm, what I'm really excited about is the UL mod. Yeah, the Valerian. Isn't it? That looks fucking sweet. Uh huh. I know it looks like the the Relo, but I can't wait to get that. I'm doing a straight out of the box review for it. <laughs> uh. So what else of uh, have y'all had any good stuff to hit other than the few things that we've talked about so far? Anything? I got some ultrasonic cleaners. <laughs> Oh, you got them too? Yeah. Who I got did, them too. Who did you get ultrasonic cleaners through? Some Just Chinese some company. That makes ultrasonic are they, from Amazon. Yeah. Are, are they, they like. They sent it through Amazon. Are they like the uh, Coil Master ones that first came out? Those little <laughs> janky no. ones? One's, that, one's like a portable one, which is actually pretty nice. You can put it on your desk. And then one's like a decent sized one. I like that, the bigger one. I'm actually going to do videos for them. I'm probably going to do one video for both. But I'm going to do it on my other channel, Mike Life channel. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm going to do it on my, this channel. And um, the cool thing about that is it solves the problem, what I can't stand about mine. The detachable part. Oh, yeah. Where you could then dump the water and you don't have to unplug it and plug it back in and have the cord going with you to the sink. That's what I hate the most. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? I was like, dude, I love this. This is awesome. So, yeah. I'll be doing a video on that soon. Cool deal. Cool deal. Uh, Mike, what about that uh, that little miniature pod system you got there? You uh, The baby? Yeah. Look, I actually got the baby on top of the billet boxes in there. Just look at the fucking, that thing is tiny as hell. 
Hell yeah. It's pretty cool. Is the uh is that the charge you put on it last night when we were Yeah. Or have you had to you hadn't had to charge it again? Well I haven't I don't vape a pot exclusively all day. Yeah. Well the thing looks so damn small it doesn't seem like you could get but just a couple of puffs before you'd have to plug it back in. But. I haven't checked. Let me check uh, what the battery is. There you go. Let's see. I need glasses. Nope, doesn't say here. But someone right now is on Vandy Vape's website checking. Actually, it's not Van on Vandy Vape's website. This is uh, their own. I guess they have a website. Called uh, Finesse, maybe? The little offshoot company. Put that up. Mark Manuals. I'd oh, well, love to have this one. Well, of course Mark walks off when really you pull manual. out manuals. All for that little pot system. Holy shit. Yeah, but it's, it's in different languages. Let's see. Vega, Vega. Product info. 250 milliamp hour. Uh, 1.5 ohm resistance. Output is 5 to 15 watts. Oh, look what Mark's bringing to the game. Do, do, do. What is he bringing? Hey, folks, if you wanted. Oh, there it is. Damn, that thing looks like a bread maker. So it take, it, take it off the stand. Look at that. That's a genius idea right there. Yep. I love that. Blade comes on. Oh, it's got the little basket. Little yeah. basket. I'm really excited about this one. I'm hoping this one works good because perfect for like sitting on your desk, as tiny as it is. Does, oh, I did it. I did it. Yeah. I opened it. I don't remember that that metal part. The inside comes out, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, I, I don't like that. But it unplugs, so you can just yeah. unplug it from the cord, go and fill it up. Dude, yeah. those are all because I've got those at work. A little bit on a bigger scale but those things are perfect right there the only thing with that one that little one i recommend that more for cleaning jewelry uh you know what i don't like about it that it the your actual whatever you're going to put in there is going to be hitting the metal part and it's going to make yeah. that noise yeah. It's sizzling, yeah i like better to have a basket a nope. strainer inside so they could sit on the strainer so when you you could just lift it up water just falls off it then yeah. you know what i'm saying let me ask this the other one is there a heater on it i don't Whoa. yeah i don't think there's a heater i don't think so but a heater is not necessary for I, yeah but i still hot water you just put you put uh I'm, I'm straight just... hot water from your uh from your faucet and you're good you just don't often see the cheaper ones, obviously, with a heater on it. And I was just curious if they might have actually done that with this one. No, no heater. Okay. So, if anything, if you don't use it as an ultrasonic cleaner, you've got your little, like, chicken nugget basket thing right there, right? To Hell yeah, deep fry son. in. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Hmm. Uh, uh, it's, like a rice, it's like a rice cooker. How much is it, Mike? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't check to see how much it costs. They're on Amazon. I don't yeah. know how much they are, though. Uh, some, yep. Somebody else was just asking a question. Oh, I got shit going on. Uh, I think Salty fucking Vapor asked a while back, Mike, you still owe the public a vape, uh, a vape tour through the... Uh, cave down there or something I, we talked about that already didn't we uh I, well oh, that was on uh sunday well uh, with the last show well i don't well i guess i don't remember that's why i was saying it again yeah soon i guess somebody heard you say it a while back and they're desperate to see it yep so, now so. he does have a video of one, but things have changed since that particular video. A little video. bit, yeah. A little bit, but yeah, they actually have changed because now I have like the whole camera setup, yeah. so all different. But to get a sneak peek, he does have one. You have to dig a little deep into the videos. I don't even remember. I think that's when you were showing off your gimbal or something like so that. Like Mike Vape's Vape Layer Tour, something yeah. like that. Search on YouTube and you should find it. 
<clears throat> Thank you for the donation there, Johnny Drips. I'm here for hashtag mesh life, hashtag double mesh, hashtag double the flame. Damn. <laughs> uh, well, you can get it. You can get it all there. Uh, Kip Drippers wants to know if we're going to New York this summer. Well, I am in New York. Uh, Mark, I think, is trying to go. Uh, I will not be attending that one. Yeah, my- <clears throat> Are you going, Mark? Um, I'm supposed to be going to Omir, so. Oh, well, if you're going to Omir, that means he's not going because they can't get their shit together as it is, so. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I feel like working. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you're being honest, so. Just give it to you honestly. Like, I don't know if I feel like working. Yep. I'm in the mood to work, I'm going. If not, then I'm not going. Yep. Bruce J wants to know, Mike, how many pods do you actually own, or is it too many to count? Too many to count. <laughs> I'm I'm at that level. Just I have a box of all used yes. pods, the battery parts. I got a box over there, but just on my desk. When it comes to pods, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Do we count these as pods? Yep. All right, so I got 17. Oh, there's another one. 18, 19. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 19. I there's just... ones here. No, I just counted. I got 16 sitting on the desk right in front of me right now. I mean, I could just grab a handful like that. Yeah. And the, and they're all different ones. The only ones that are identical to each other, I got oh. two uh, two Caliburns laying on the desk. Hold up. But it's, not, it's exactly like on top right here on the desk. Here's another four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's a good thing, though, because they don't really clutter too much and you know you can you can always grab what need to be so. but the thing is like the all the orions or the and the orion style ones i have them standing and sometimes i'll do like dominoes bitches and this oh just, yeah everything definitely yeah uh oh okay well i don't i think uh phil and dimitri are in germany still or something like that i don't believe they're having a show so i'm not really too worried about running over right now uh, how many bulks do you guys own? Let me answer that. Here we go. Me and Mike only own one, and that was the first one that was jacked up. Mark, as you can see, he's got them all over the place. And we uh, did mention our reviews. I will give you guys an update on them. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Maybe. Keep waiting. One day, maybe we'll be able to update you, but I doubt it. And if- I also found out there are actually people waiting to get updated before they would purchase one. Exactly. <laughs> That's just the... Uh, uh. Yeah. <clears throat> and my one of my close, dear friends that I speak with damn near every single day for the past, what, four or five years now, and he's sitting on this panel right now, keeps saying, oh, I'll get you guys taken care of. We'll get it so you can do your updates. Still hadn't seen it, but anyway, anyhow. I'll send them out Saturday. I guarantee you, I send them out. They will not even take them out of the box. I'll bet you a hundred dollars, folks. Hold on, hold on. Who do you want to make that bet with? You want to make it yeah. with me? I'm making it with the folks in chat. You don't want to make it with me. No, no, because yeah, yeah, you'll be at your hundred real quick. <laughs> uh, I'll purposely take it out just to take your hundred, but uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but I know for a fact. Mark is about to be a new wholesaler in his area of bulks. <laughs> so. I got him today. I, I'm an owner of 610 bulk RTAs. Where in the fuck did you stash those at? In a very secret place. Good Lord. So, Omir did buy that new trailer and put it next to you, right? <laughs> I wish they did, no. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually starting in my place. Sadly enough. Oh, uh, thank you for the donation there, Blind Meat Shield. Man, it's been a while since I've seen your name kind of popping through. Uh, hashtag Drunken Innovation Lead 
lead mesh in a cast iron RDA. <laughs> God damn. That would taste good. Woo. Uh, yeah. So, so what, uh, hold on. What's I'm, not, I'm not selling individual bulks. I'm only selling at like wholesale. So you got to order uh, like minimum is like 25 if you want the wholesale price. If you want to buy it retail, you could buy it at e Siggity Element Vape. All right. Well, since you're giving us information out, what's the minimal that they have to purchase? Well, their minimum is 50. My minimum is 25. Wow. And I'm willing to work with you. Like, if you buy a lot, I'll give you free shipping. If you buy a lot from China, they ain't giving you free shipping. Plus, China, buying them from China, you got to pay, like, like, a huge shipping fee to get DHL. So there's buying them through me i'm going to deal with the us only so that way shipping is cheaper you get them faster there's no having to deal with china so let me ask this so did they send the uh bubble tanks too yep i'll be sending those out mm. this weekend to a bunch of people uh below me below me <laughs> Said, I'll buy 24 right now. Well, I tell you what, you donate that price for 24 in this chat. You won't get any. You won't get any. That is true. We'll just be honest about it. But now, what do they do? They just hit you up on your email that you spout out all the time to get yep. with you? Okay. Just email me, vapingfagin at gmail.com. If you or a shop you know wants to buy them and they don't feel like dealing with China, they can deal with the man himself. So. And if they want to do like some shady deals, you're up to that too. Like, you want to do ca- you want to do cash under the table? We could do that. Wow, I can't believe yep. I'm saying that shit. We yeah. should say that shit for your show. All this we should. Oh, um, Omir's in, co- in the comment section right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Ah, uh, so there you go. If you're a shop owner out there in chat right now, and you need at least at least. What, 25 of them? Yep. It's on. It is on like Donkey Kong. So, But that that's a pretty good deal. If if for somebody to, to get 25, which they would obviously sell in a shop, if you're giving them free shipping, yeah, somebody gonna, somebody's going to profit pretty good off that deal. Now, yeah. let me tell you this. The shit ain't free because he's already been paid a buttload of money. But anyway, <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm messing with y'all. Uh, so yeah, hit Mark up if you're, uh, look at Chris Roop. He'll say he'll take 25 now. He don't even have a shop. He'll just set them at his house and use them for target practice or some shit. Uh, what's going on, Roopster? I love my boy out there. It's the Roopster. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's about all we got kicking tonight. Um, it's mesh life. Mesh for life. A lot of mesh stuff coming out now. A whole lot of it. Oh, yeah. That other mesh RD is coming out, too. Yep. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, Johnny, don't be fucking doing this too much. You got diapers to buy, but thank you for the donation there. Mark Fagan buys a house to store bulks. Still lives in a trailer. Hashtag home is where the heart is. There you go. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the donation there, Stephen Garlington, not Stefan. Uh, I'd buy some more bulks, but once you get herpes from it, the charm wears off. Hashtag team rebirth. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. (laughs) You can get some ointment and clear that shit right up. Actually, ointment does kind of clear it up. It's just like a, like a cosmetic thing. It's always there though, but. 2019, you can get rid of herpes. Uh, Aaron wants to know any of y'all got the Doom Mesh RTA? That would be a no for me. No, I don't think I've heard of it. I think I've seen that somewhere like on Instagram or some shit like that. Who makes the Doom Mesh RTA? Uh, I wanted to, was that attached to uh, a YouTuber by chance? The Doom now. Somebody so. somebody school me real quick and chat. I can't keep up with all this shit coming out. It's like nothing comes out, and then all of a sudden everything starts coming out. So, uh, Baby Bryce, I got a Doom on the way. 
All right, what's the doom about? Give me a little, uh, school me a little bit. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Dan says Vic just reviewed it. Vaping with Vic. So the Doom, R-T-A. Damn. Damn Doom. Damn Vape, yeah. Somebody just said Damn Vape. So Damn Vape is... Well, let me ask this. Did uh, Vic like it? Said Heaven Gifts, currently $30.99. And it looks... Why does that logo look familiar? What is that logo (laughs) from? Johnny, doomed if you wick it wrong. Oh, damn. There you go. What is it? What is it? Who is it from? Oh, it's a mesh style RTA. Um, it looks wow. That looks like a bitch to whip. Carlos says it's a dual mesh. That's dual. It looks single to me. I could be wrong though. Of course, I have no pictures in front of me, so I'm relying on what chat says. So if you said it was a triple mesh, I would say that. It looks, and... it looks to be a single mesh RTA. Oh, Aaron says it isn't dual. Vic loved it. He loved it. Okay. It looks like another mesh RTA. It has a little tiny wicking channel. Somebody said they did steal the logo. Oh, okay, I was gonna say that logo looks really familiar. What what does it ref, what does it resemble? Is that the Doom logo? Let me see. Doom. Pretty sure. Eh. No, it's not really the Doom logo, but it looks like the Doom logo. Uh, yep, Vic said it was good, less work than the Unity. The Doom is single mesh. Like, why is it, there must be a reason why, but why do all the mesh RTAs have such small wicking channels? Do they have to have small wicking channels, or, like, why aren't they big to kind of suit the, the diameter of the cotton that you're using? I don't get it. Uh, yeah, That's you, my only thing with all these mesh RTAs is, is just wicking them. It's like a pain. Or for me, it's a pain. The what, Doom game logo. Okay. It, it does look a little bit like the Doom game logo. Okay. It doesn't have like the lightning bolt kind of style logo, but it is kind of the same ballpark. There you go. Uh, it seems to wick fast. Vic was chain vaping the shit out of it. Okay. Well, I chain vape my Unity, and I it was keeping up. Uh, thank you for the donation, there, Charlie. Does the Doom look like a wiener and balls? <laughs> that's <coughs> all. That's all I buy now. Hashtag hashtag. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh shit. Bruce J says it looks like Jay's logo. Well, I hope that's not the case. Oh yeah, it's it just got those like. Ends coming off like uh, what's it called like again? Doom, Doom RTA, Doom, Doom RTA. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Blind Meat Shield. He's on his game tonight. Uh, at Mike, thank you for the recurve duel, brother. Love it. It has oh, yeah. a happy home on my Vindicator. Yeah, that looks like that the Doom logo. Yeah. That reminds what me. Happened? What did you say? I heard my name. I what was happened? reading. I was reading a uh, donation. Oh, I of. see it. <coughs> My man, blind meat shield. Yep, Mark, you want to pull up a uh, randomizer for us? Sure will. We kind of going uh, a little bit above there, so. Artistico. Topito. Uh, Anyone tried Watofo's new profile cotton? That's electro clean. I haven't tried it, but I do have them in stock. I just got them in. Oh, is that what they sent me today? I got my other recurve, and they sent me those tools, and I got some kind of cotton. Yeah, that's cotton for the profile. It's the new cotton. Oh, so you did get the Watofo tools. It's three millimeter cotton. Oh, they gave you three? Yeah. They gave you... But I got the six millimeter ones for the profile. You gave? They gave you this? Uh, I don't know if it's that shit they're talking about. I don't have the box. Well, it's, it says it. I will say, though... So far, these scissors are pretty fucking sharp. Dude, those scissors are nice. I like them. They're like perfect to me. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're not pointy on the front. Oh, yeah, they're not. I wish they I like pointy. 
scissors. You can kind of push them through the cotton, yeah. The one thing that I have not opened, and it seems to be the biggest complaint from everybody, is the ceramic tweezers. A lot of people are not liking them because I guess they don't close all the way flat or something. So, I like the wire cutters. Oh, yes. Now, they are very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much retiring everything else. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like they're... But you know what? Why do you need those all the way? That was, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Who? Because I would use them to pinch coils and stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't. I, if I can pinch them that damn tight, uh, I don't need to have them. So these are really good when you're picking your nose <laughs> and you got something really deep, like in the cavity you can't get. You could shove. Whoa. Dude, what, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> 